greetings to another video and today's video is going to be all about um, route planning really and being able for you to get um, your own incredible routes wherever you want. So this is kind of a bit of a follow on video to the video that I did about my favourite places to ride in the UK because I got asked a couple of times to create a route in those areas and I can do that for you but it's not going to be kind of the right length or the amount of elevation that is going to be right for every single person. So rather than just creating one route, I thought I would show you how you can create as many routes as you want and just the way that I route plan if I don't really know where I'm going or if I'm going somewhere new and just thought I could share that with you. So <laughs> I think it's just because I was shown by some of my friends and I just think it's just a really great way of figuring out a great route if you don't know where you're going. So. I've got my laptop here. I'm going to uh, switch over now. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. So I'm going to start off um, by creating this route on Strava. You can do it on uh, Ride with GPS or like Komoot. Um, but the reason that I like Strava is because you can look at segments specifically on Strava. So if you if you don't really know where you're going. The first thing I would do, and if you like climbing, for me, what I do is I find like, right, what are the major climbs that I want to do in that area? And a great way of starting is Simon Warren's um, 100 Greatest Climbs. So he basically compiled a list, I don't know whether you know, of 100 of the best climbs in the UK. And it's just got some absolute beasts on there. Um, and yeah, I really like, that's what I would go for. So. For example, let's say you're going to come to like Saddleworth, kind of around the peaks, and you're like, where do I go? So you can go down these, in the actual book and in the app, they are um, categorised by like area. Um, but for me, I know that such as, there's loads actually, there's like Winnet's Pass, um, Mocop, uh, Home Moss, so there's all these part rash, that is, that's in the Dales, that is insane, that is such a good one to go for. Um, so yeah, just go and go on there, you can have a quick read about what each of them are like, how long they are, you think, oh I really fancy having a go at that one. So, find which ones you want on there, and then you head over to Strava, um, follow me on Strava, my link is below if you are interested, um, and then what are you going to the top right, create a route, and that will bring you, mine brings me to Manchester. So. What you want to do is kind of find the area that you want. So I'm going to head over to the peaks, zoom in a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go this way. And then what you want to do is click on this third one down. It is like the Strava, like, I don't know, seg it's called Segment Explorer. So click on that. And then what this does, and this is so, so clever, you can click for how hard you want the segment. So it goes up to, from like U, four is like, they're like the lower end. And then HC is like the hardest, um, like the hardest, most difficult kind of categorized climb, I guess. Um, and so for me, I'd be like, yep, I'm gonna make them, I want them hard. I don't really want like the lower ones. And then on the map, it shows you where each of those segments are. So you can click and find which ones they are. So Buxton Pass. I know what this one is, Stuff Stones. Sky Road, Home First Road. And then you can just move around. Home Moss, that's on the 100 climbs list. Yeah, so then what I would do is say you wanted to get a train somewhere. I would go onto Google Maps, find where the nearest train station is to these climbs and then you can map your route from the train station. So yeah, so that's the train station there. So then you just click on, and then all you, do, all you do then is just basically click on the routes you wanna go on. So say you wanna do dust stones, and then you wanna come round, and then you wanna do home moss. I wanna do that, and I wanna go there. And then I want to go there. What other ones are there. And then you can see, I, I just love this. I think it's such a great way of creating routes and Strava has made it so easy to do it. Um, and then I want to go up Snake Pass. And then I want to go down on this one. And, the thing, and also the good thing is you can see the elevation at the bottom. So if you click that little 
elevation off, elevation on. You can see what the climbs are like and it'll give you like your estimated moving time, your distance and elevation. So let me just turn that off and then I'll go back to the start. And then if you just, and generally if you click just from, you can drag them around. So say I didn't want to come down that road, you can just move that across and it'll drag you onto a different road. So it's not, you don't have to do the road, the road that it specifically tells you. Um, route plan is just so easy. That was the thing I think that I really struggled with at the start because I was like, oh, I don't even know where I'm going. What do I do? I don't even know how to do it. I literally went, and this is pretty embarrassing to confess this. When I first got my bike and when I first moved to Manchester, well, I'd had it a few years then, maybe a year, um, I used to go, literally, I lived on a hill and I used to go basically to the motorway. It was just like a long, 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 probably about 10k climb. Um, and then I just used to turn around and come back because I didn't really know where to go. It was before I had a Garmin, before I had any kind of like route planning. So it might seem basic to some of you, but for some of you, I think it's going to be really helpful for you to be able to get out and find different routes and be a bit more com confident and comfortable with going out on places that you don't know. So yeah, and then, oops, undo that. Then let's go back to the start. Say you've parked your car at the train station. Do that. And you can see your route. Uh, yeah, so 88k, 1800 meters, about four hours. Then you can look at the elevation. So you've got some good climbs in there. Yeah, it's a good route that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that you, that's what you can do in the peak. And then to save it, you click save, route name, let's call it test, original. And then you can keep, create it, leave it private if you want it to be private, or if not, you don't have to. I'm just going to put test route, save, view my route. And then when you are on here, you want to export it as GPX. And then that is what you put onto your Garmin or your Wahoo or whatever it is. So yeah, you just download that. It downloads to wherever your downloads are on your computer. And that is pretty much it. And I think it's just so important to um, to have like such great tools like this because there's so many different ones out there that you can use. It's not just Strava. Um, and most of them are free anyway. So I just think there's so, so much out there and so much, there's no excuse basically for not being able to get out and explore. Um, and then you can create that and tailor it to exactly what you want on the day. Maybe you want, you want to do 50K. Maybe you want to do 200K. So that is just a very good tool and thought I would just share that little little tip with you and let me know where you go and let me know what routes you do and if you like it because the peaks is absolutely beautiful there's so so much in the peaks so yeah i reckon that's it for this video then um i hope you found that helpful as always uh, if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing it helps me out and obviously you get notified when i upload another video videos are generally up I say generally, they always are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. UK time. And yeah, that's it. See you next video.